Welcome to part eight. Uh, let's see. Stand up your ground, and we're playing well on for the Milano, or sh we should sell rocket. Um. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly, the rodents are the one. I am not being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. Uh -huh. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Fine. Remember, buddy, menacing, like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> okay, here we go. song or something we can sing to kill the time oh oh i know one it's called please stop all right yeah okay wait is please stop the name of your song no okay so how long before someone else wants to pull this thing we are 60 clicks from the fortress i'd say closer to 75 well, there is only one way to know for sure 0 0.1 clicks 0 0.2 clicks 0.9, 2.1, 0 0.3 clicks, 4.5, 0 0.4 clicks, 0 0.5 clicks, Oh my god. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be hmm. up in a sec. I promise. Right. Warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that, something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. Go, go, go. So cool. Said, she said, 
Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Park Don't Man! Worry, I'm not gonna sing. I liked your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be <laughs> Mom. Mom. I'm sure not. For? Never will. Why would I wish for Even anything? in real life. I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight? Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I'd want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. <laughs> no, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you, I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. Don't you dare touch that dial. <laughs> Dang it. I left the gift on my bed. Oh, I thought you sit outside. Maybe I'll go get it, and you can finish up here instead. Uh, no, that's okay. Shoot! Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. Promise me you'll be safe tonight, Peter. Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. <laughs> my mom was My like pants that. didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. <laughs> you know, I was talking to Janie's mom the other day. Uh, here we go. She's a lovely girl, Peter. She listens to disco, mom. Disco ain't that bad. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. 
We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. <laughs> I don't think I could pull off the mullet. But I do have long hair. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. I don't know much about our... But I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Huh. Sky's clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Dance says every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. Hmm. <laughs> uh, you'd be surprised. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? Huh. At last! Huh? We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. As I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With Brew? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. I'm sure you make a great point, Gamora, but I gotta go with Rocket. For reasons. Ha! Eat scut, Woberry. And I mean... I know what I'm agreeing to, but just for everyone else, uh, can you explain that again? Uh, After we sell Groot, we sneak back in and use my tracking device to find him and bust him out. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. Good and enough. if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. <laughs> Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell on her name? would laugh she wants a glorified if it was rocket. Zoo. That's no zoo. It's a flarkin' army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen one that was tamed. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. I might do it, it's fine. we're gonna get Worst comes to worst, rocket. we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, <laughs> like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. Man, I stand correct. Those ain't Shi'ar. 
Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chased across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! It'll take forever to find fruit after we sell them. Peter Quill expects you to use your insect device. Bug! What's the matter, Rocket? Getting cold feet? No! Relax, Rocket. We've got your tracker thing, right? Uh, don't exactly draw us a map, Quill. It's more like a, a hot-warm sort of thing. You mean hot-cold, right? What? A Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh! A woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. <laughs> Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. Good to know. I know what you mean. Do not claim me for your food. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. You, you doubt its authenticity? It is what you say it is. Prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would be con artist. I assure you, I say, milady. release it. Got this. Bring in the next seller and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next door. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. All righty. Well, <laughs> your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh, <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Well. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Yes, she is. Um... Play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. Just for the 
best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender, I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. <laughs> you would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarv 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, destroyer. Twenty thousand units. Twenty thousand? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. Twenty thousand units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? <sighs> I mean... No. Well, then you're an idiot, lady. Rocket Drax has this. Name your terms, then. Fifteen thousand. And you stay. Well, you want to buy Drax? Not buy. Invest. I could use a warrior like you at my side. I have other commitments. Shame. <laughs> we could have had such fun together. Twelve thousand for the Flora Colossus, then. Twelve thousand is not Not million. that bad for a Flora... whatever deal. Twelve thousand units it is. The storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you. Flirting with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions, man. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lee Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. Heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. My best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save me, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. Now just rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. Don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for crew. And us. Gotta hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work-hard, play-hard sort. 
Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We comparing Scotty father figures? Because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Once we ditch this place, I'll show you guys a real party. Uh, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Throne room entrance is down there, so we just gotta, you know, leap our way across the chasm quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold tracks. That's not what I said. Maybe next time we're in a bind, we can auction off a date with tracks. Kentucky was doing a date. Perform feats of virility and are judged worthy. That how you ended up with your wife? Uvat was the most proficient killer in our village. Her affections were sought after more than most. Sounds like my kind of woman. That's it. Dead ahead. Past another bunch of lightweights. You're sure that tracker of yours is reliable? Trust me, this baby's paid for itself. Oh, you actually paid for it? Paid, stolen, such. I trust Rocket's doodad. Remember that time on Ansara? <laughs> Remember no such time. For your days, muscles. Will got caught stealing eggs from this place on Sakaar. Why am I not surprised? My doodad led me straight to him, hiding in a spike hatchery. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just say, have a little faith, Woolberry. <coughs> I tap build them thumpers, it's gonna pop this door, and it'll find Groot. Am I good, or am I good? Those are the same options. Tracker says, uh, come on, you skaggy. I knew that thing was junk. Look, we saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Ladi does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. Of course, she can't just have a normal freaking ground level chair. It is intended to inspire fear in her adversaries. It's a crime of efficiency, is what it is. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can have. It's possible. We certain there is, in fact, an elevator. Of course we're sure. We saw Groot leave on Crap. Can't you just do that flippy thing and get up there, Gamora? Even I've got my limits. What is your maximum altitude? All right, Drax. Try to clear that rubble. At once. Let's see what's hiding back there. Oh. Think you could have made more noise with that? Of course. But you did not ask. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, part whatever. Um, but yeah, I'll be uploading these as soon as I can. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz it really helps me out. And uh, stay tuned for more. And all that jazz. Bye bye.